Hello, I am Test Drive, and welcome to episode 29 of Forza Horizon, where I only just now realized, after getting everything ready, at least it wasn't the whole episode, but my microphone was not on, so yeah, I just bought uh, various cars for the next street races, because I am doing things out of order, so we're going to be doing the street races before I finish up the gold wristband, because I've already done a little bit of it in that video, which will come out next. But now, I guess I get to upgrade the cars I bought. Maybe I'll put in like little clips of me buying the cars or something. I don't know. I got this at least. What are we doing to your ride today? <sighs> I'm so mad. I'm always mad. I'm always stupid too. God damn it. Anyways, let's just fucking do this, I guess. Uh, yeah, we'll do this because speed and handling. Sure, why not? Sure, that works. Alright, Ultimate GTR has been fully upgraded. Basically, I bought two cars for S-Class, one car for A-Class, and one for both R3 and R2 class for the, uh, the street races. Which I'm going to go over here. We're going to find... You know, we'll do the Audi first. Because this is going to be my A-Class car. Audi TT RS. Uh, we'll custom upgrade you. Anything interesting here? Oh, we do, actually. What the hell? Ooh. Fog lights. I love fog lights. You know what? I want fog lights. So what is that brand? ABT. Okay. I could have kept it stock, but oh well. Too late. <laughs> ABT. All right, uh, I guess I can make the tires a little bit better. We'll do sport tires and we'll do some good suspension, anti-roll bars. Sure, why not? <sighs> I'm upset. All right, uh, can I do engine swap? A Audi RS4 V8, 420 horsepower. That does sound like fun, but, uh, no thanks. <laughs> I think like it's a turbo. Play upgrade the turbo, of course. Make it rev super high or decently high. 598. There we go. That will work for this car. And then... We will hop in the... Somewhere over here. There is a BMW M3 GTR. I love Need for Speed Carbon. <laughs> Specifically, Carbon. No other games. Can I do anything interesting? Nope. Understandable. We'll do sport tires. Actually, you know what? Because uh, I am upgrading this to S Class. I'll just do tire width, I guess. We'll do sport tires with tire width. Car doesn't have a ton of horsepower. Uh, so I guess we'll just do some engine stuff. Why not? 445, 493. Sure, we'll leave it at that for uh, power. Oh, you actually can't remove that much weight, I guess, because it's already kind of a race car, anyways. Uh, sure, clutch. Transmission, sure, why not? Do a little bit of that, do a little bit of that. I guess I could put better. Yeah, let's, fuck it, let's put race tires on it, why not? Because that brings up to exactly 700. Okay, that works for that car. And then I have two more cars left to go through an upgrade. Change car into, I could have, I guess, used the uh, DBR one, but oh well, <laughs> too late now. I mean, I guess I still could. I could use it as a secondary A-class car. You know, let's see that real quick. I'll just have to remember that I'm using it as a secondary A-class car. Custom upgrade. Good body kits. <clears throat> Get 
some better tires on it, do tire width. Platform and handling. Anti-roll bars. Uh, I guess I could put a better transmission in it. Sure, why not? Better power into it. There we go. Okay, two A-class cars have been sorted now. And what do I have left? So I've done that, I guess, I think the only thing left is going to be the, somewhere around here. Around here, there we go. Lotus 211. I like how the Audi TT is actually like the highest sorted into uh, A-class. That's promising, at least. Now we upgrade to 211, because this will be my last car that I'm going to use. We have no body upgrades at all. What do we have? 235s? All right. 285s on the back. Let's go. Uh, and I guess we'll put more power into it. Supercharger. Oh, I can't do it. <laughs> 316 horsepower. Wait, I want to do a little bit more. Can I do any more? 712. There we go. Perfect. How much horsepower do we have? 323 horsepower. Not the, not a lot. And I think the one last car I would like to use is actually already upgraded. La 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 la. No, it needs a little bit more. We're going to use Celine S7 as well. Because I haven't used it yet. Uh, la, 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 la. Custom upgrade. Can do arrow. Just for the stuff. Makes sense. Tire compound. You can't actually change, which goes halfway up into uh, R2 class. Nice. Wait, can I not? You can only change the size of the rims in the front, not the back, interestingly. All right, what do we got here? Do that, do that, do that. Can't do that. That's already upgraded, that's already upgraded. And that's it. I'm gonna assume I probably can't do much in the way of, yeah, power upgrades. That's already upgraded, that's already upgraded, that's already upgraded. Okay, well I guess we're going with 798 because I can't really do much about it without completely rearranging everything, so let's do it. And I think we're good. For our races, our street races, our last set of street races actually. The last little bit of side content in the main game, well besides the sponsor things because these are going to be still not done i'm almost done with that one i've gotten a lot of them done though uh but that will be the only thing left like that's base game content after uh the next episode not this episode so let's give it a try mm, selena 7 interior i do enjoy the selena 7 a lot I would use it in any video game that's in. And I'm pretty sure I've used it in most video games that's in, that I've played. In 400 yards, keep I'm pretty sure I even used it in Art Racing Evolution, funny enough. Oh, Jesus. But yeah, right, we're going to our last uh, street race hub, which is going to be right down here at this little area. Gravel Road. Treasure map will reveal the locations of every discount sign. Incredible. Alright, so we start with S-Class. We go from A to S to A to S to R3 to S to R2 to R3 to R2. For a hundred grand for our last race. Goddamn. Looks like I'm going to be getting a lot of money off of this, which is wonderful, honestly. Uh, I don't think there's any special restrictions on any of these. No faster than S-Class. 
And you fasten R3, and you think fasten S, R2, R3. Okay, we should be good. We'll go ahead and once I make it over here, there we go. We'll start with S class. And I guess I'll start with the 211 because it's right here. It is the only S class car, isn't it? No, it's not the only S class car. The BMW. Yeah. We'll start with the 211 though. Because why not? Let's do this shit. Let's get another achievement by the end of this episode. At least one. I don't think I'll be getting any more, but at least one. I still feel stupid that I recorded a whole bunch of this episode without having my microphone on. I don't know why I turned it off, to be honest with you. I really don't. These boys ain't here to play, yo. When it gets the cash. Whoa. Alright, let's do this shit. Lotus 211. Ooh, we're up in the, uh, the little city area. I call it the city area. I don't really know what like else to call it. It's like a little town. Oh, shit. Everything's good. I have the handling advantage. Later, nerds. Maybe. I'll just be like a super like straightaway uh, centric race. So I just absolutely get demolished. Oh, this is dirt, by the way. That's pretty cool. Come back here, you bitch. Lopez. I will catch you. I will win this race. Later, nerd. Oh. You went a little bit too far to the left there. Wasn't expecting it. Well, it looks like I'm going to have to maybe defend. I don't know. Depends on if they slow down for these current turns. Turns? Which it looks like they are. So I will take it. Go! Wiener, wiener, chicken dinner. Let's go. First race is a success on the first attempt. Hooray. Hard GT8 in last. Nice. 115k for the first race. Not too shabby. Uh, no, I would not like to stay in the 211. Even though it doesn't matter in the slightest. Okay. That's cool. That's cool. Alright, A class. Uh, you know what? Let's use. Let's use a DBR1 first. Where's it at? There it is. Aston Martin DBR1 race car. Hopefully, it's better than when I drove it when it was stock. Because it was not that great. It was very old car, to say the least. Alright, and an 8C, we got a California. You wanna be the winner, bro. I do want to be the winner. You're damn right. Diablo. 4 GT. I love just the randomness of the cars that are used for these. I mean, it's not like super like out there, I guess. Then again, I'm using the uh, the most interesting slash wacky car out of the bunch here. Using a 60 year old race car. Oh shit. Ow. Hello. Ah, no. This car has really long gears, even though I put a race transmission into it. Probably would have been worse, honestly, if I would have, if I had to guess. Just go. We got to do the ween. The big dub skis. Yes. I think that turns so much better than them. I am a professional race car driver. As a, as you can see by me driving a race car professionally. I mean, I guess it's not really professional if it's street racing, but you know, it's fine. We are schmoovin', I will admit that. 180 miles per hour almost. And we're actually ending up in the little city area. Cool. 
I don't remember what this area is called. I know there's a name for it, but I just don't remember it. I'm not the best at remembering things. Well, that was easy. Works for me. And I was 14 seconds ahead of last place. Not too shabby. 111k. That ain't as much as I got in the last one. <laughs> what the hell? Alright, S-Class. Another S-Class. 52 grand. Let us go and use the M3 GTR. Because I've already used the Lotus. Big brain strats right here. All right, SLS is interesting. I got a big pile of cash. Big pile of cash. Sure, I'll take your cash. Why not? M3 GTR time. Interestingly, the brake lights are like the uh, the earlier cars. But I thought this was a later one, and I thought they had LEDs. Uh, Pretty early on in the E46 generation. There's an S5S Raptor in this, by the way. Oh shit. Well, I think I lost my front bumper. I sure did. Ow. That's a Camry. Shit. Go. Go and go. Need for Speed Carbon cover car or not cover car? Uh. Hero car, sure, we'll call it that. Huh. Definitely not in any other games, like I said. Definitely not another game that I've already played through, even. Ah, oh, you got me, it's in Forza Motorsport 2, obviously. I think that was, the oh shit. I think that was the first game, of the or the first Forza game that this car showed up in. Because it was not in Forza 1, but I think it was DLC in Forza Motorsport 2, if I remember right. And it was DLC in this game, too. People were very mad about the DLC in this game, just being a lot of, like, Forza 2 through 4 cars coming back. They did not like it. I remember that. Anyways, I win. Yay! We're making it. Damn. The 211 is so far behind. There's somebody's arm over there. What the hell are they doing? 211 has made it across the line only 13 seconds later. And I didn't win by that much either. Another 120k, let's go. We're back over 2 mil. I will not stay in the BMW. All right, what do we got next? R class? No, I think it's gonna be another A class actually. Maybe, I don't know. I don't remember. It is another A class. Reservoir drag. Okay. Um, IDTT time. Nuh uh. Alright, got an Exige, California, Bora. Yeah, it seems pretty regular. Okay. <laughs> sure thing there, bud. Look at my. Totally not stock Audi TT RS with a body kit. There's actually another TT RS in this. No, it's faster. Ultimate skills. Fuck. Excuse me. I am here. Thank you very much. Ooh, pretty gauges. Here you bastards. I will catch up to you. I will win this. Oh shit. Corvette was the only one that went for it. I will also go for it. Hell yeah. Oh, we got to turn right here, by the way. Ah! Not quite how I want to do that, but it works. I'm still in first. Will I get through this entire episode without having to restart? Maybe. It's possible. Ah, shit. I will not get through it without crashing, though. That is for sure. Mm. 
Oh shit. I really am not good at driving this car, I've learned. Why Audi TT have to be hard to drive? What the heck? It don't matter. I'm winning anyways. There we go. First place. California knows how to party. California. There we go. Let us continue. Get some money. 51k. Starting price or starting, starting thing. I don't know what I'm saying. Okay. Excuse me? You wanna enter in uh, no, I guess it's gonna be 211 so, for this. Because I've not used it twice yet. Pretty obvious, I know. But I wanted to say it anyways. <laughs> Alrighty. And their LP700. No blah, way. blah, blah. Let us go. Get my very lightweight race car Lotus. McDonald. Go! Go! McDonald's is in first! No! <laughs> if I didn't hit that traffic car, I probably would have had it. God damn it. Son of a bitch. Let's try again. I, I, I can win this, I've learned. It's not going to be easy, but I can win this with this car. Alright. Try and draft as much as I can here in the beginning too. I don't know if drafting really helps in this game at all with speed, but it's worth a try, you know. Hello. The. <laughs> yes, go past me so I can draft off you dumbasses. Well, it looks like it's helping. I'm going 175 now. Almost. Oh, you dumbasses. Ooh. Okay. I just have to do a little okay throughout this. And I will have this. Viper. Huh. Goodbye, Vapor. Gruber. Hans Gruber. Okay, we're good around there. I think I have this this time. Fucking McDonald. I don't want a cheeseburger. Ronald. Oh. Okay, that works, I guess. I'm still past. There we go. Now we're making progress. Well, not a uh, not a perfect run through this episode, but close enough. Uh, TVR bringing up the back, of course. I don't know why I said of course. TVRs aren't bad cars. They're just a little hard to control sometimes. Another 114k. Okie dokie. R3 class time. Let's go. Uh, yeah, I guess the Selena 7 is my R3 class car, isn't it? It sure is. Let's go ahead and use it. Alright. Comfort. I see an Enzo. Let's go. Why do I have my brights on? They're so bright. Alright, S7. See what you got. Can draft apparently. That's cool. Slingshot. Go past the noble. Oh, balls. <laughs> I'm glad I wasn't the only one that did that. <laughs> Thank you, noble, for, for uh, being a homie there. 
really helping out. I'm starting to get back with another S7, by the way. That's kind of funny. What do they got against S7s, huh? Oh, passing a bunch of people, I think. Slingshot. Okay. Let's try not to screw up this time. Oh, somebody did. I did see at least one gray dot stop there. Ooh, shit. Volkswagen. Oh, Ferrari. Everything's fine. We're fine. Okay, there goes the McLaren. Understandable. Have a nice day. Why'd this slow down? Ooh, shit. Well, I'm not doing great in this, by the way. I guess I can continue just to see if I can catch up at all. I doubt it, but we'll see. Very past the Noble again. That's good. Uh, ooh. Well, we might have this, actually. Ow! Ultimate skills challenge completed. Let's go! This is nice sponsor challenge done. Think of. Alright, I'm in third place. Pretty far behind first, but uh not un unwinnable. They're right there. Harrington, Mark. Come back here. I will win this. Believe it or not. Audi R8. Ooh. 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 Uh, a little bit of a, a little bit of a weird thing happening in the back of my car here. <laughs> what if I said no? You don't pass me. The brake lights were a little bit offset. Like the light itself was not coming out of the actual brake light. Interesting. I'm surprising. I, I'm surprised that I won, honestly. But I'll take it. Hard difficulty, by the way. And 135k. Okie dokie. Next, we have our last S-Class race. Beamer time. Nuh-uh. Hey, alrighty. Oh, why did the daytime running lights turn off on the S Martin? What the hell? I don't think that's supposed to happen. Not gonna, not gonna lie. All right, let's go. Huh? I guess I can look at the inside of this car too. This is the only E46 in this game. Shit. Not exactly how it's supposed to go. Go. Uh -huh. Corvette, hello. You okay there, bud? the right. Sure, why not? Oh, Porsche hit the traffic car. As planned. I didn't plan anything. Oh, shit. There's a turn here, by the way. Uh-oh. This car was getting a lot of traction through that. I'm honestly surprised. I was flooring it. Uh. Oh, PT Cruiser. Goodbye, McLaren. Pass challenge. That's something I need to get done uh, as soon as possible, so hopefully uh, hopefully I do that before the end of the next episode, to say the least. Just gotta catch up to McDonald again. Why are you always in first? You think you're good or something? Huh? I'm gonna catch you. 2.7 seconds behind, but I'm gonna catch you. We're only 50% through this race. Bring it the fuck on. Yeah, you gotta slow down through there? I don't, bitch. Ha <laughs> ha, let's go. I'm schmoovin'. Oh god, I'm good. All according to plan. I would have spun out if it wasn't according to plan, don't you know?
Oh, shit. I hate these turns so much. I hate this area. I hate driving through here. I can't see shit. And then I gotta drive as fast as possible through these tunnels. Can't see nothing. It sucks. <laughs> I hate it. I don't think I've ever made a clean pass through this area. Like, in any form. Speed. I was not expecting that through there. Not really going that fast. Oh shit. We're good. I made it. I barely survived. Viper. And finally bringing up the back, the zero one. All right, am I getting more now? Yes, I am. Let's go, 142K. I'm almost up to three mil already. Okay. R2, R3, R2. Okay, R2 time. It is time for the ultimate GTR. I think that's it. Yeah, that's the only R2 class car I even own. Okay. Let's see how the ridiculous this thing is with some upgrades. I have driven it before, but it was for a uh, PR stunt. Got an FXX. That's good, good, good. Yeah. Good, 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 good. Yeah. Okay. Selena 7 starting the back again. There's another Ultima GTR in this. I see it. Come on. Go. Just go. I feel like this... Was this car in PGR4? A seven, please. We don't need to go this wide on this corner. I, 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 trust me. Believe me when I say we don't need to go this wide. Ooh, leaf. Leaf moment. I want to drive the leaf, but I have to play Forza 4 to do that. And we're not quite there yet. I still have to play Forza 3. First, I got to get the DLC for Forza 3. I mean, I don't have to to play it and like complete it, but I want the DLC cars. I have to have them. All right, that was an easy road the first place. I will take it. And I'm winning by quite a lot. This car might be a little OP, maybe. Ooh, ooh! Not whenever you hit a bump, though, or jump. Hello. Egg. Egg. I need the win. I need to catch up to you. Which is apparently going to be really easy. Except for the fact that you have better acceleration than I do. Oh, can I make it? Oh, I stayed on the road. Let's go. Ow. That's Camry. Oh, of course. Well, that works, actually. <laughs> Just push the car right in front of the opponent. Let's go. Totally planned. Like I said, everything that I do in these videos is 100% planned to perfection. Nothing goes wrong when I'm playing a video game. Ow. <laughs> I planned for that. Oh, the S7 actually moved up to fourth. Hell yeah. Let's go. All right. How much I get for this one? 59k. Well, 137, I guess. Okie dokie. Hey. So we have one more regular race, and then whatever is the Goliath. So, wow, they've I didn't realize they had the Goliath race in, uh, in these games from the beginning. I know that's a thing like Forza Horizon 3 and 4. But anyways, let's do Twilight race. Uh, this is our three, yep. Saline it is. Alright, we're starting in the city again. These boys ain't here to play. Beaumont, Maine. Oh yeah, it's Beaumont? South Beaumont? I don't know. Something like that. We have three Saline S7s in this, including mine. Assuming there's no more up in front. And the FF bringing up the back. And then apparently I have the best S7. Uh, uh, 
This is not the Ultima GTR, by the way. It cannot turn quite like... Oh, God. Hello. Klaus Hansen. Well, I'm already in first, so that's cool, I guess. Go away, Gruber. Hans Gruber. That's all I can think of whenever I see the name Gruber. <laughs> I can't help it. It's the best Christmas movie, you know? It's just, it's in my mind. Oh, jeez. Seuss my way around. There we go. Please don't say we're going off-road. I don't think we are. Uh. Well, that wasn't great, but whatever, I guess. So we're going this way. Oh, shit. I am not doing great going through here. Oh, Jesus. Hello, Viper. <laughs> Hello from my uh, passenger door. I like that the position is like, I don't know what to do about this. Because you're all going away from the checkpoint. Some Midnight Club 3 type shit right there. <laughs> this is very familiar to Midnight Club 3 because you can in fact drive the Selena 7 in Midnight Club 3. I think LA as well, if I remember right. Not sure if I used it in LA, but pretty sure it is in the game in general. Uh, careful through there. Make our way around here. Go in here. And we are out. Now across the line. Ooh, the Viper came in second. Very nice. How is it R3 796? How did you make it worse? It literally starts out at R3-800. <laughs> what the fuck? God, the AI of these games. They really figure out ways to do all the weird shit. Hey, exactly. Almost exactly 3 million. Let's go. Alright. Last race. Last street race of Forza Horizon 1. And it is the Goliath. Let us go and choose the Ultima GTR, because that is the R2 glass car I'm using. Alright, I think the la the best I've done in the past is like completing the first street, res street race hub, and that's it. So, this is all new territory for me, and has been for a while. Let's see how long this is. So we got the Goliath. We are starting on the highway. Berg. And we are not even the 1%. Oh, there's 1%. So judging by that, we are going to be here for a bit. It's, going, it's taking this long to go up in percentage while going 200 miles per hour. Oh boy. Hopefully I don't lose at the last second. Because I have done that before on the long street races. Lamborghini wants to pass. What if I said no? I'll pass the other Ultima. Daredevil challenge, let's go. Need that too. I need all the challenges done. Well, I want all the challenges done. That's more like it. Ultimate speed, ultimate speed. Ooh! Ooh! Spooky. Spooky, scary Enzo. I think that was an Enzo. I am catching up to first place, which is good. Egg. <laughs> Egg has gotten in my way. Don't tell me we're going to make a ride up here. I don't want to go into the gravel. Shit, we're making a ride up here. Well, actually, I think it's after the gravel. Or is it both? Is it all gravel? I think it's all gravel. Yep, it is. Okay. Time for off-roading in literally the fastest, almost the fastest supercars of the game. God damn it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> SSC had a little bit of a struggle there. 
Shelby Supercars. Try and watch the map as much as I can so I don't screw this up and miss a checkpoint or go the wrong way. That would not be fun. All right, just go, just go. Oh, Taurus. God damn it. Yeah, you, you, you back off. I will never back off. Oh, Enzo. <laughs> it is in fact an Enzo. I have gotten very familiar with its rear bumper. <laughs> oh, that was a big hit. Are we going all the way around the map? We might be actually. Oh shit. Oh god. Oh jeez. I'm taking a bit of an interesting path here. Oh, is that a uh that was a uh Hennessy Venom, wasn't it? Well, I'm missing my spoiler. And it's funny enough, another uh or the other Ultima GTR in front. Hey, pass challenge, let's go. Ring 10 unlocked. Oh, Prius. I think that was a Prius. No! Why must you pass me? Oh, that's a Revlimer, by the way. Hennessy Venom is right behind me. Out. I want to pass the other ultimate, or not the ultimate arrow. What is Ultima? Not ultimate. Oh shit. Ow. Oh, dirt time again. Let's go. Haha. -ha. I will prevail. Isn't that a band? Or is it I prevail? I don't remember. I think we are going around the outskirts of the whole map. You know what? I dig it. Oh shit. Can I look at the map? I can look at the map. Okay, yeah. Um, there we go. We are literally going around the outskirts of the map, in case you were curious. Very cool. means we have a lot of straightaways too. Not so much in this section. In some of the other sections we surely do. Ugh. Dirt. Gravel, whatever you want to call it. Same thing. Oh, bouncy, bouncy, bouncy. Boingo, boingo. Okay. Kangaroo, that's me. The baby. <laughs> I wonder if this is going to be the longest race of the game. I don't think so. I think the other one's gonna be longer still, because it's lower class. We're just going too fast now for it to be the longest race. Also, I have fucked off completely from the AI. They are somewhere way back there. Hard difficulty, by the way. And I'll take it, you know what? If I can complete everything in this game on hard difficulty, I'll be happy. I don't need to play this on insane. Hard is good enough for me. Hard is hard, you know? I will not explain further. Three quarters, almost. Right about now. The Funk Soul Brother, check it out now. Yeah, that. Let us go. Uh. First actual turn onto a different road for a while there. 
Oh. Oh, I haven't done the air challenge all the way yet? Shit. There's so many challenges I have to do still. You know what? If I don't get all of the challenges done, I'm not going to be mad by the end of the game. Because they are just kind of a... What do you call it? A uh, passive thing. More so than actual, like, real progression. So, I'm moving down this road, by the way. Holy shit. I was kind of realizing, I was like, hmm, the road is definitely turning a little bit, but I am going very fast, and I have not let off in a while. Huh. And you... Careful through here. I think we're, yeah, we're 90%, basically. Jump. There we go, there's 90. Hello, Volkswagen. <laughs> I have not looked to see how far behind the AI are. I feel like I'm gonna be sitting here for a while waiting for them to finish at the end of this race. I'll try and pay attention if it uh, shows the split times. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. I bet I'm a solid 10, 10 plus seconds ahead of second place. Just gonna throw it out there. Oh, maybe not. There's the AI right there. What the fuck? I just saw him on my map. Have I been really going that slow through here? I guess I have. Uh. Oh, yeah, I guess we're not actually that far behind. Huh. Interesting, to say the least. But it doesn't matter, because I am the victor of all of the street races in Forza Horizon 1. Let's go. Yeah, they actually aren't that far behind. Five seconds. A lot, a lot closer than I thought they were going to be. And here comes the rest of the pack. 599XX bringing up the back. Only 15 seconds behind. Hm. That's kind of wacky. How much money am I going to get? 237k wind diesel. <laughs> That's a Fast and the Furious reference. You cruise past a competition one every street race. What am I getting? Enzo? I'll take it. You know what? That's a $1.3 million car that I don't have to buy. So therefore, I will accept it. But that is the last of the side content as I've mentioned, other than the, uh, the sponsor challenges that I've yet to complete. So, I guess we will head back to doing the gold wristband, uh, even though you haven't seen any of me doing that yet. You got the bug all right. There we go, first place in every single street race in the entire game. And I have Enzo Ferrari. Ferrari. I'll look at my profile, look at our stats. 90% done with the game, other than the expansions, because I don't think those are, I, I don't think they're uh, included in the game progress. 12 hours and 57 minutes, I think that's a bit underestimated. Got all of this. We have one more barn find to actually find, or to actually have uh, show up on the map. I guess we'll do that at some point. And there we go, 30 out of 30, three races one. Six out of seven star showcases, blah, blah, blah. Ah, feels good to be closer to completing this game. Also, over a thousand miles driven, in case you were wondering. And I think we're maybe, are we past? No, I think uh, my record gamer score in this game is like 750 or something. Like on my main profile that I have from when the game released. So we're, we're getting close to that. We're going to have more, for sure, because I have not, uh, like I said, I don't think I did all the street races, I didn't do all the PR stunts, stuff like that, that is getting me more in the way of gamer score. You know what? Just for fucks and fuckers, uh, let's, let's find the barn find. I think it's actually, like, on the dirt road over here, if I remember right. Let's just find the barn find real quick. Find this barn find. And then maybe the last one I'll find, uh... 
before I complete the last races. Hopefully, as long as it shows up, that is. It's funny that there's actually a barn find over in this little area. Alright, where is this barn at? I don't remember. I don't think it's that way, but it might be that way. Uh, I don't think it's here. There's not even a way you can get into there. Oh, it's right here. Guess what? I found it. I can't believe what I'm seeing in front of me. You have found one of the rarest cars in the world. The Shelby Daytona Coupe. She doesn't look like a winner right now, but a little TLC will have this girl breaking hearts again. I can promise you that. Ah, yes, I found it. <laughs> I found the Cobra Daytona. 100%, it's all me. But now we will go ahead and continue, conclude this episode. Thank you all so very much for watching, and I will see you all in, I guess I'll actually show the game, See you all in the next episode.